Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys what are the best badges to players in a tier list. As you guys see, we have a tier list ranking all the way from must add badges to never add. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. Never add, meaning I would not recommend adding these badges. Not good, meaning you could probably put them on a card, but I wouldn't recommend it. Usable, being usable badges to add. Should add is a badge I would recommend adding. And then must add is badges you literally have to put on cards if they do not have them. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform so for their ado let's get on to the video starting off with the first badge on the tier list is going to be acrobat and i don't think it's a very good badge to add i wouldn't put it in never add you can maybe throw it on a card it may have some sort of value i do think angle braces is usable also let me know in the comment section down below what would you guys change about my tier list and basically, I'm just gonna be going off of, you know, what I think are the best badges to add to cards. So Deadeye, I think is a must add, must add badge to a card. Really good shooting badge, good on centers, good on point guards, good on forwards, doesn't really matter. Ankle breaker, it depends kind of what you like ankle breaker to do. Like how much do you do ankle breaking moves? I would say probably not good. It may be usable actually. I'll put in usable. I think Dockdown Punisher is usable as well. Bailo is a should add should add i think bailout is actually really good because if you're going to take a shot and then you want to pass someone while you're in the shot it is really important to have bailout quick chain i don't think it's a must add badge i do think it's a should add though ball shipper is usable blinders is a must add basically the same thing as dead eye box is a usable badge break starter never really need to add it maybe not good yeah, i'm gonna say never add honestly i don't think break starter is that good we're kind of speed running i'm, I'm gonna kind of give my explanation as we go but i do think you guys should know what these badges do if i were to explain each badge we would be here for a while so just you guys can get the point and the overview of what i'm kind of saying about these badges so brick wall it's a good badge helps you from not get, <clears throat> helps you from not getting mashed i don't think it's a must add i think it's a should add a should add though it's really good well, a passer must add for sure one of the best badges in the game gonna make your players passes stronger so when they throw a pass to a player just gonna make that pass more effective catch and shoot a must add must add kind of in the name i think chase down artist is a must add badge definitely gonna help you guys get chased down blocks chef is another must add a lot of must adds in a row here chef can help you guys with off dribble threes circus threes honestly is really good i'm gonna say it's usable though i don't think it's a should add should add clamps another must add there's a lot of must adds in the game right now at least we got a lot a lot of them in a row clamps gonna help you guys play better defense stop the people on the perimeter you guys should know what clamps is clutch shooter not a good badge at all i'm gonna say not good you can maybe add it i don't i don't think it's a never add but i wouldn't recommend it corner specialist is a should add i don't think it's must add you don't need corner specialist because the fact that if you're in the corner wide open you should be able to green that pretty consistently defensive leader not good at all difficult shots not good at all downhill never really need need to add it to a card all it's going to do is just help you run in transition which i don't think is very effective dimer is usable for sure dimer important to have on every card interceptor probably the best badge in the game is interceptor so definitely going to be in the must add dream shake unless you're a big post player i don't think it's really good it can help you in the post a little bit but i don't think any of the finishing badges except for maybe like five or six finishing badges i think they're all very not good they're not they're basically not good at all all the finishing badges aren't the best like drop stepper not the best fade ace can help you in the post so maybe if you like doing post fadeaways you could put it to usable but me personally i don't really do post fades so i'm gonna say not good fast twitch is actually a very underrated badge i'm gonna have it and should add Basically, if you're underneath the basket, it's going to make you get the layup animation faster. So if you're trying to do a, a layup animation with a guy like D-Rob, it's going to help him do that layup animation faster, which is really nice from you not getting blocked. Freelance Finisher, I think he's usable. It's a solid badge. going to help you when you're driving to the rim. I think it just helps with less contests when you're going to the basket. Floor General, I think it's usable as well. Not the best. Giant Slayer, pretty much the same thing as Freelance Finisher. Glue Hands definitely a should add actually i'm gonna have it in must add you need to, every card needs to have glue hands because of the fact that if you don't have glue hands your players literally won't catch the ball so i think glue hands is actually a must add badge next is gonna be grace under pressure don't think it's very good at all green machine definitely a should add handles for days definitely a should add 
hook specialist no i'm a, unless you like doing post hooks maybe with kareem or you like yao ming post hooking i'm gonna say it's not very good hot zone hunter kind of the same thing as green machine on the same level as that if you have hot zones around the three-point line it's going to help them shoot in those hot zones i think hot zone hunter is a should add badge hustler very underrated badge i think that's in should add hyperdrive kind of on the same level as quick chain i think they're very similar badges intimidator i think is a should add i don't think it's a must add i don't think every card needs intimidator it's really important to have though but i don't think it's a must add must add is basically for the best badges in the game like limitless spot up easily the top a top five badge in the games so that's obviously going to go in must add i think limitless takeoff is a should add it's a really good badge as well it's going to help you guys dunk from farther out basically just help with dunks in general lob save finisher not good unless you like throwing lobs if you're on current gen but i play on next gen so i'm not going to really need to throw any lobs lucky number seven another should add i think should add is going to be the bad is going to be the category that has the most badges because I mean, there's a lot of badges in the game you should add to cards. There's gonna be a good amount of usable, not very many not good, because there's a lot of good badges in this game. Like Menace, it's another should add. It's a good badge. It's not must add, but it's better than usable. Mismatch Expert, another one that's in should add. A really good badge. Basically, what Mismatch Expert does is when you're a smaller guard, for example, like six foot three, like a Kyrie Irving, and you're taking a shot, someone who's over six foot six, it's gonna help with that contest. So basically, just gonna make it if you're a smaller point guard help with you know being it's just gonna help smaller point guards out when they're taking shots mouse in the house definitely usable kind of like another finishing badge it's just a usable solid badge needle threader never really should add that don't think it's the best off ball pest not good at all pick dodger just gonna help you get around screens i think it's a i think it's a should add right it's just gonna help you guys get around screens pickpocket another should add kind of in the name just gonna help you guys get some more steals Pogo stick, another great one. Definitely should be adding pogo stick to your cards. Posterizer, I do think is a must add. Kind of in the name, posterizer, gonna help you guys get contact dunks, gonna help you guys get posters, which are obviously really nice to have. Post lockdown, another should add. Basically what it's gonna do is help you guys in the post. So if you're getting back down, it's gonna help that player in the post. Really important to have. Post playmaker, never really add this badge to a card. I don't think I've ever added post playmaker to one of my cards. Post bank technician, honestly not good unless you like doing post spins pro touch never add not very good at all put back boss not good at all never add that one quick first step definitely a must add badge basically gonna make your quick first step faster so or gonna make your your first step faster or quicker whatever you want to say so basically when you you take someone off the dribble quick first step is really nice to have rebound chaser it kind of depends what position you're talking about for rebound chaser if you're talking for like a small forward a power forward or center it's definitely a must add if you're talking for like a point guard or shooting guard you definitely should add it to a point guard or shooting guard if you can but i wouldn't say it's must add for a point guard or shooting guard but i'm gonna still have it in this category rhythm shooter i never i wouldn't say it's never add but i don't think it's very good rim protector probably a top three defensive badge in the game rise up ne not never add really set set shooter I don't think it's uh, I'm gonna say usable set shooter is usable I'm gonna have that in the usable category slippery off ball I think it's usable I think it's usable slippery finisher also usable as well can help you guys get some finishing finishes around the rim sniper top three shooting badge in the game probably a top three badge in the game to be honest space creator I don't think it's a, a should add I think it's I think it's usable special delivery never add this badge stop and go kind of like space creator I'm gonna say usable stop and pop kind of the same thing those are very three similar badges just gonna help with the dribbling overall teardropper never add not very good tight handles another dribbling badge these are all pretty much on the same level i think quick chain and hyperdrive are the two best dribbling badges and then probably like you know tight handles stop and pop space creator uh stop and pop there's a lot of this they kind of they kind of sound all the same like space creator stop and go stop and pop tight handles they're all about the same skill uh, not skill level <laughs> talking about players they're still about they're all about the same badge level talus defender honestly never add i don't think i've ever added that triple the juke never add unpluckable probably should be i should add if a card doesn't have unpluckable you definitely should be adding that same thing with unstrippable they're pretty much the same exact thing volume shooter not good worm probably never add those are my badges that's how I'd rank them. We'll quickly go over them and just tell you guys what I mean. So in the must add, these are the badges I would recommend adding to a card no matter what. If you guys are looking at a card and you don't see one of these badges, definitely make sure to add it to them. Now, saying that, the most expensive badges are gonna be in the must add category. Badge prices aren't that high anymore. They definitely took a hit in price. So 
they're not that expensive as they used to be interceptor is actually a pretty cheap badge and it's one of the best badges in the game so if you guys are looking at a card a new card comes out and you're thinking what badges to add if you see one of the badges in must add you see them on a card and it doesn't have them definitely make sure to add it if you see in should add i would probably recommend if you see in usable you know like i i recommend adding ball shipper to a lot of cards i say stop and go a lot i say tight handles a lot i recommend sometimes mouse in the house but I'd probably stick to mostly of the should add and the must add must add category. Not good. I just wouldn't recommend adding them and then never add. I just would never add these badges. So all you guys should really care about is like from usable and up. Most likely just should add and up. And these two categories are the two badges you want to be focused on, focusing on. But I mean, usable does have some, like I said, usable badges in here. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about my tier list? I thought this video would be helpful, kind of a different type of video. So if you guys, if you guys did like it and make it through, make it through the entire video, comment down below. Let's pick a badge. Let's go. Let's go with a random badge. Let's go Hall of not Hall of Fame. Let's go Gold Drop Stepper. Comment down Drop Stepper gold drop stepper so i know you made it this far in the video i do appreciate all of you guys that do make it to the end of the videos hope you guys did enjoy i'll catch you guys in the next one peace